Cheers, brothers from other mothers. For all my lovers, um, there's that fucking phone again. I've just started fucking recording. Right, hang on. How do we switch the fucking thing off? Right, done. Okay. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Found a shady place. So, at the drive, on the drive. So, anyway, cheers. This, um, this is clearing up quite nicely. Hopefully, it'll be clear by Saturday. I'll take it out to Bristol. Um, <clears throat> I'll be sharing it with my brother and, uh, and a friend. Um, so, um, this is um, on a promise. So, my Timmy Taylor landlord um, clone uh, using West Yorkshire Ale yeast, for, uh, Y yeast 1469. So, I thought I'd underpitched it next day. It was like mountains of, of Krausen on there. And um, I've also heard that it takes a long time to, uh, to, to clear. Uh, so, it, it's getting there. It's about two weeks in the keg now. So, uh, it's, it's getting there. But the flavour was really malty to start with, which was from the yeast. And, uh, and now that's, that's mellowing out absolutely fucking gorgeous. So, Golden Promise Pale Malt and uh, Y Yeast 1469. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, what else have we been doing? Uh, last Thursday, because I was off for a week, off work for a week last week, um, uh, me and my neighbour Mark, uh, we went to Tor Valley Brewery and we had um, our own tour, just me and him. We, we, uh, I've been there with the whiskey club and we, we had a, a whiskey tasting night there, so there's videos up of that. Uh, but we were there um, and so I could talk to him a bit more about brewing, and um, which I couldn't do on the night because it was about whiskey. And uh, so really interesting. Um, and, and just a, a fantastic place. Um, it, uh, if you've seen the videos, it, it's located in a, a Grade Two Star listed uh, building, and he gets his own water, or he gets his water from his own well. The structure of the well is Grade Two Star listed as well, and um, and so me and Mark, we we went round there on our own. So me and Mark, we actually drank it straight out of the well, and and. It, it was it was lovely it was just really lovely and soft and just very pleasant to drink so he says it's full of minerals all he has to do is put gypsum in it and and that's it so uh, and then every 15 months he has to have his water sent off for a microbial check and uh, and that's it so the rest of the time he just draws it out of the well and uses it to make his beer and it's bloody fantastic absolutely love it now so the other thing is Sunday's brew, which was uh, a double keg, 38 litres of Kolsch, um, and the first time out with this monster, the plate heat exchanger. So 125 kilowatt, 30 plate heat exchanger. Got this from the Bolt Miller. And um, where is it used to take me? Oh, excuse me, uh, 40, 40 to 50 minutes to, to cool me, my work down with a whirlpool, with the immersion chiller, um, and still only achieve about 30, 30 degrees if I was lucky. Uh, last time was 34 degrees in a 19 litre brew. Um, this time 38 litres through the, the heat exchanger, uh, 14 and a half minutes so down to 20 degrees so absolutely thrilled with that and uh, I shall uh, continue to use it it's just absolutely fantastic so uh, and that's it really so I've just been enjoying me, me beer I've got um, what well, um, rat catcher on so that's um, Greg Hughes's summer ale so I've called it rat catcher I've named it now um, and it's called rat cashew because I killed three rats in my garden at the weekend. I kegged it. So bloody things. 
so uh, there we are, that's living in the country for you, wouldn't it? So, anyway. Anyway, John, I've put the bins out, mate. Well done, me. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you have a good week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers, me dears. <laughs>